guys, brand new merch shop just hit the site. It's fall, we got the merch to reflect it, but we also got something for everyone. Not to mention, we're giving away the 2024 Scrambler. We're just stoked to give it away to one of you guys because it's a really badass four-wheeler. So as always, every $5 you spend on the website gets you entered to win this four-wheeler or $15,000 cash, whatever one you want. Go check it out. It ends next Friday at midnight and uh, enjoy the video. All right, let's go wake up Mike. I haven't done this in a while. Morning, Mike. Good morning. You all right, Mike? Yeah, I'm wet, though. <laughs> <laughs> At least you got your shower out of the way. That was like a tidal wave. All right, so you guys know how Mike and Ev are mostly the two dirt bike riders in the group. And Mike, I don't want to say struggles with keeping up, but there's a very clear gap between Evan and Mike's riding capabilities. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. I'm not taking it. <laughs> so we figured to lessen the gap, we would help Mike out by building him a pit bike that's just attached to Evan. So you, you can't be behind when you're already in front of him on the same dirt bike. Quite literally, no more gap. Yeah, no <laughs> more gap, exactly, exactly. We're gonna weld this pit bike onto this one and have a two-in-one pit bike. Yeah. Okay. Probably not gonna be better in any way, but it's gonna be funny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so that'll be the first pit bike contraption that we make. And then the second one being taking this pit bike and putting a lift kit on it. So it's a pit bike with six feet up in the air. I already know Evan's gonna be able to wheelie it. We got some building to do. Mike is gonna experience some wide open throttle. You might experience some ground. He's gonna try to avoid that, but I think it's inevitable. This is how tall it's gonna be? At six feet. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is way bigger than I thought. This is gonna be like a circus act. It literally is. A couple finishing touches. Give her a little rattle can treatment. These are two beautiful contraptions. So on the tandem bike, we got steering up front and then throttle in the back. So you actually can't ride it without two people on it. It's a teamwork makes a dream work type of rig. Person in the front needs to not panic. You're throttling the back and grab a handful of front. Probably gonna be a bad time for both. I'm literally prone to do exactly that. So. <laughs> Mike on throttle, Evan on steering. Now a chance. You guys are probably wondering who we had helping us. That's Big Wrench's son, Gavin. We call him Little Wrench. It was kind of like if, if he uh, helped us with these builds, he had a spot on the team. I think he might have outdone himself. Hit a home run, man. He hit a home run, dude. You can just tell that wrenching's in Gavin's blood. Blood, man. All right, we're gonna start with the tandem bike, see how that goes, and then go up to the, uh, what, what are we calling this, like the six footer? The tall pit bike. The tall pit bike, that's really all you gotta say. All right, let's see how this goes. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> It was a little iffy at the start, a little shaky. They really got it down now. Oh, it works way too well. Find the mud? Yeah, found the mud, yeah. I knew we were bound for failure eventually. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting lucky out here. It was going too well. Yeah, like, was. man, these guys are skilled. Well, working also, perfectly in unison, it's just pure luck. <laughs> in my head, I was like, okay, are we not doing it right if we don't crash once? Yeah. Stub my toes. You good? Yeah. I think 
for the oh. second we took off, I knew we were landing cricket. Oh, well, why are you trying to whip, bro? It's our second jump. <laughs> See, and in my head, I'm like, why is Mike leading so much? <laughs> oh man, the team's starting to fall apart. I think this thing works way too well. You know, it's a big W, I'd say. If the six foot pit bike works half as good as this, we'll be in good shape. <laughs> if the six foot pit bike ends up in half, we're gonna be in bad shape. <laughs> When you're way too small to be riding a 250, but you still want to. <laughs> so we hooked up the rear brake to it. So it still has rear brakes, doesn't have a front brake on it, but there's obviously a lot of other kinks that still kind of need to be uh, figured out. So Evan wants to go to the grass to figure those out versus uh, concrete. Rightfully so. <laughs> the rear is pretty sturdy, the front, Questionable. I, I, I think if there's anything to break, it's probably gonna be in the front. A little flimsy in the front, but man, this looks ridiculous. It's so much more ridiculous outside. <laughs> like yeah. in the garage, it just seemed more like a project. Think, now yeah. it's a dirt bike. It really makes the stock 110 wheels just look like donuts. <laughs> yeah, the wheels look tiny. I'm pretty confident in Evan's capabilities. We put him on some weird vehicles, but this one, this might take the cake. All right. Three, one, two, three. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Ben. How's it feel? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here he goes. Oh. Yeah. How's it looking? It's amazing. Oh. Dude, Evan looks like he's a circus act right now. The no-hander just seems unnecessary. Oh my. Yeah! It's like wheelie, wheelie, wheelie over backwards. Oh! Oh! I thought I was taller. Oh! That wasn't a crash, we're good. I think that went a lot better than any of us I thought. I thought for sure you'd at least biff it once or twice. Yeah, usually it means like I'm not trying to push it at all if I don't crash, but. No, I, I think you I were pushing to. it pretty good, being that it's a six foot tall pit bike. This, uh. This seems like a really good idea. This is our definition of working out around the shop. Trying to get some use finally. It's just gonna be a projectile when it comes off. Dude, that is so weird. Yeah! Oh! This is how uh, professional skateboarders train. Just like that. <laughs> oh no. Oh, we got juice in the f Oh, we killed it! No. 
There is egg yolk running down into the power source. Yeah, that Dang could have it. something to do with it. I have a trusty treadmill. Alright, Mike, you ready? Balanced breakfast. All right, so as we showed you guys previously, we just got this other shop here and uh, we're beginning the remodeling process. So, in order to start that, we have to get rid of half of this like structure thing. Basically, the plan is we're just gonna chop it in half right here, just cut it and then hook up the mini trucks and just pull it all away. So that way, we have some more room for new lifts to go in right there. <laughs> Alright, let her rip, Ryan. Oh! Oh! Can you imagine if we were actually hired to do some de-renovating for people? We come into their home and we bring just like the most random Destruction, thing. it's destruction. Not we're home de-renovators. No, 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 no. There's renovation and then there's de-renovation. No, we're de-renovating. Are you guys standing up there? Why not? This is called stairs surfing. Let's do it! Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no! Oh my god! Fucking <laughs> oh my god! It did no damage somehow. What? Uh, yeah, no, it did. You barely bent the trap. <laughs> Everyone starts going after Ryan now. Jeez, Ken. We can. Jeez, Ken. You gotta hit Mike. Go home, loser. <laughs> okay, stairway has been successfully removed. A little bit of collateral damage, but you gotta have that when things get out of hand. All right, so the plan here is basically to hook up all three of the mini trucks and pull this room that we don't want completely off of the structure. Whoa! Em's trying to get this thing done with. What in the world happened there? Nothing. Not not a whole lot. We'll be honest. It did not go that well. I, I think we gotta get you guys working as a team. Three, two, one. Oh my God! <laughs> 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 I don't think this thing's coming down. So are we just gonna leave it then? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's fix it. This thing's not coming down. When you guys told me you were tearing down a room, I thought I was straight up coming over to carry some wood. Like, I was a good <laughs> friend. I had no idea what I was in store for this time. Down to two. Ryan and Evan are connected to the same beam. I think it's just the center one that's holding the whole thing up. It's hard to say if it's coming down on this one, but they're pretty confident that it is. How's that still standing? Jump, Jay! <laughs> this thing won't want to die. Do you think we can jump on it and knock it down? <laughs> This is electric. <laughs> I'm riding down! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Well, it 
That's one way to remove the room. Dude, you pushed it! 